Good evening, brother and sisters. Um, it's father's daughter, and I just came to tell you um, I'm looking here in First Thessalonians chapter four. Um, it says chapter four, thirteen. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe, believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with a voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Um, brothers and sisters, I just want to tell you that you need to get saved right now. If you have not been saved, if you do not believe in Jesus Christ, you need to get saved. He's coming soon. We are all going to fly soon. Um, this world is coming to a fast speeding. It's like faster than a speeding bullet, faster than a missile. We are not going to be here. Um, and it, that tells you right there that uh, the ones that really just don't care or are not thinking about it um, are going to stay here. And it's not going to be fun. They don't serve uh, breakfast in, heaven, or in hell. And this, this world is, is just going to be chaotic. And you don't want to be here, brothers and sisters. Please get saved. I urge you to get saved. Um, I just want to say, too, um, be watchful and strengthen the things which remained that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Um, Revelation 3, 2, 15 and 16. Um, nevertheless... I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Revelation 2.4 uh, You know, just get saved. Just get saved. I'm urgently coming on here because I feel the need to tell you guys. I've felt the need to tell you guys before, and I, I didn't do it, and I'm regretting it now, and I... I wish I had did more of these videos, but I want to come with some scripture today and tell you that Jesus, we are going up to see the Lord. You know, we're going to, we're going to be feasting with the Lord. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be better than Thanksgiving or any Christmas dinner you've ever had. And if you're watching this, you were meant to watch this and you are meant to get saved. Jesus is tugging at your heart. He loves you. Lord loves you. That's all I can tell you. Just get saved, okay? Uh, till next time, um, well, let's pray real quick. Dear Lord Jesus, um, we come to you humbly um, that whoever is watching this video gets saved, Lord, that we have spoken to their hearts, that, um, that they just believe what I say and they feel you tugging at their hearts. Um, just, we pray that they get saved in Jesus' name, and we thank you for everything you've done for us, Lord. And In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Get saved, and I'll see you next time, okay?